Hello, it's me, Jessica Viva, and today I wanted to talk about how men are more privileged than women, specifically in the K-pop industry. But before I go off, I'm going to tell you guys to remember to subscribe and to turn that bell button on since everyone does that at the start of videos. And let's just get into it. I want to start this off with saying that this isn't me going all oh, men are bad and stuff like that because I genuinely enjoy boy group music and I like a lot of boy groups. I am not a hardcore boy group stan but I do appreciate their talent and hard work and you know just is what it is. Honestly if you're a boy group stan that is all on you and I respect that but I'm a girl group stan so I speak out about this kind of stuff. I'm not going to force you to listen to music you don't want to but I think even as a boy group stan you have to understand the frustration and see the inequality that women face and accept it's a thing. And the thing is accepting that there is an unjust inequality within the k-pop industry isn't you hating on men or in any boy groups, it's just having a problem with the society and culture that we and these K-pop idols are in. It's not a specific boy group's fault that women are treated unfairly, again, it's just the society we live in. So before I got fully into the video, I just wanted to establish the difference between blindly hating on men for something they can't help and actually having a problem with a sexist attitude and society. We all good? Okay. Another thing to just quickly add on is that men are more privileged than women in not just the K-pop industry but in the entire music industry and a lot more different things but today I wanted to focus just on the K-pop industry because I think attitudes and culture in the K-pop industry are very different to the West and I think while the Western music industry still has a way to go it's still a lot more forward than the K-pop industry and it's slightly more forgiving and lenient to a lot of things when you compare it to the K-pop industry. So, the first point that came to my head was cancel culture. First, let's just get a little bit of background. I feel like a lot of Koreans and a lot of Asian countries themselves never seem to get educated on other cultures outside of Asia. They may briefly touch upon, like, white Hollywood kind of culture, but there's just really not that much taught in Asia when it comes to Black, Hispanic, Native American, just to name a few. And I personally don't believe an idol is racist, unless they say something with malicious intent and they have shown proof that they should know better, aka maybe growing up in the States and stuff like that, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, you should know better. You grew up in the States. You grew up in an environment where you should know better. You get what I mean? I do believe, though, when an idol makes an ignorant mistake or comment that they are not racist but ignorant because they didn't understand what they were doing wrong and there was no malicious intent or prejudice, behind their actions. And I think this context is just important because I think saying someone's racist is a lot different to saying someone's ignorant. And ignorant behavior doesn't excuse it and you know, they're not entitled to forgiveness or anything like that. And I'm not saying you need to forgive any idol that's been ignorant, but I think being racist and being ignorant are very different things, you know? But at the end of the day, people have a right to be mad at whatever they want to be mad at. And I'm not gonna be a gatekeeper of what you can be mad at. I'm not gonna say you need to forgive anyone, this, this, this and that. Because A, I don't have the right to do that, and B, it's your feelings, and your feelings are just valid to you, so... But the problem at hand is that a male idol can get forgiven by the majority, with or without an apology, because of the ignorant. But a girl group... No, 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 no. Even though they were raised in the same culture, which is ignorant about foreign cultures, no. They don't get the same treatment. You just... It's just crazy to me because... You just can't pick and choose who to forgive or not when the circumstances are identical. And it's just crazy because many of our favourite boy groups have made ignorant comments or mistakes and they have been forgiven due to the fact that they are uneducated on certain topics. Some members of EXO, BTS and GOT7, to name a few, have made mistakes and I don't believe any of these people in these groups are bad people at all. They're really nice guys, touch loads of fans' heart, talented as hell, great songs, but they've made mistakes and... You know, people make mistakes and they do get forgiven by a large, large majority due to the ignorance. And I'm going to say again, I don't have a problem with these groups and I enjoy their music, but I'm not going to allow people to say I'm slandering a group or shading them when I'm just saying facts. They've made mistakes, they're human beings, and that's it. But when a girl group makes a mistake, no, 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 they're racist, not ignorant. One of the main things I can think about when I talk about this topic is obviously Mamamoo's scandal and despite Mamamoo apologising four different times, their scandal is constantly brought up to prove that they're racist. It's also just crazy to me because Mamamoo, unlike a lot of idols who have made ignorant mistakes, have actually learned to educate themselves and I'm not saying they're better than anyone because some people still don't know what they did was wrong. 
But the thing is, like, Mama Moo have accepted that they made a mistake, apologised so many times, and have told people that they aren't entitled for- to forgiveness. They just said that they're sorry, and they said that they want to learn to get better, and they educate themselves on the topic of race, and why what they did was wrong, and they had no idea what they did was wrong. And that's a lot more than certain idols have done when they've made mistakes, and I'm not saying that they're better than anyone, but I'm just saying that it's a lot more than what other idols have done. The point here is you don't have to forgive anyone for ignorant mistakes or comments an idol or a group has done, but you can't give one group an okay and cancel another one when their circumstances are the same. And it shouldn't be a competition. It should be about educating those who are ignorant so they can understand why they're wrong. I feel like I've repeated myself, but I really wanted to get my point across well and get my points delivered correctly. (laughs) Does that make sense? But yeah, you probably got this point enough let's move on to the next one i'm naming this point he's savage she's got an attitude just because it pretty much sums up the point but i didn't really know what to call it so i'm just naming it that but honestly i've seen a lot of male idols act quote unquote savage or cold 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 on reality shows and it's crazy to me because if you see idols like jenny who is always scrutinized for breathing she would get cancelled if she acted the same way. For example, let's look at Dio of EXO, who I love to the moon and back. He does have like this kind of thing where he goes on variety shows and maybe it's personality or just shtick that he plays up, but he's always a little bit savage, a bit cold, you know, he speaks when sp- only when he's spoken to. And this is completely fine, it makes for great TV and he's hilarious, but imagine if Jenny acted the way Dio acted on reality shows. Yeah. No, there would be hell to pay. There would be cancel, cancel, cancel all over the place. There'd be a million YouTube videos about it and she would get scrutinized for being a beach. Try not to get demonetized, sorry. And honestly, when Dio is like this on reality shows, it's so funny and I love it. It's just hilarious, but n- yeah, no, if a girl does that, then that'd be it. That'd be a problem, sweetie. Yeah, it's insane to me. Kinda adds onto my next point, which was actually pointed out by a subscriber, but I forgot this was a thing and it doesn't happen as much as the other things I've listed but I do still see it and female idols can tease each other and they get accused of bullying or being mean but when a male group teases each other they're savage and hilarious and it's all in good fun it's like there's some internalized misogyny here that insinuates that all women have to be catty and secretly hate each other like why can't they just be good friends to the point where they have playful jobs at each other i do that with my friends you probably do that with your friends just because these girls are idols it doesn't make them any different why you got to put them up on this pedestal ma and my next point which ties in with the previous two is resting beach face I won't dwell on this one too long because I've talked about this in previous videos, but female idols like Nyon, Jenny, Taeyeon, and Nancy, to just name a few, have gotten scrutinized for their resting B, B word faces, while male idols don't get a second glance because, oh my god, he's so cool, he's so cold, oh my god. <laughs> So next up I wanted to talk about band MVs and band dancers and you guys have seen probably loads of compilations of all the groups that have been banned and it's nearly always 80% girl groups and these dancers have to be either altered or just completely took off the air because most of the time they're revealing skin or they're too sultry. So let me get this straight. AOA can get banned for unzipping a skirt on the side which slightly reveals a little bit of their thighs but a man can lift up their shirt show their abs thrust into the camera and do whatever they want okay another example of this is exid who got banned for their iconic hip thrust move and up and down yeah again they get banned for thrusting their hips but you know i can name a million dancers off the top of my head where men have thrusted their groins into the camera and yeah when girls do it it's so wrong and it's criminal and it needs to be taken off the air now this is probably one of the biggest and most well-known inequalities so i didn't want to dwell on it too much since everybody knows about it and there's so many compilation videos of banned k-pop mv slash dancers but i wanted this video to be a collection of all the points i could think of so i just included this one but we're gonna move on now next let me touch on plastic surgery i think a good majority of idols have had plastic surgery and some cases are obviously more obvious than others and that's just something you have to accept there's nothing wrong with plastic surgery and i think if it makes you feel better then i'm all for it but i do think it's crazy when a female idol gets plastic surgery it's something to clown them for it's brought up as a drag it's so funny they're plastic (laughs) i'm so original it's just so sad like is it's so bad to get plastic surgery it's not coming out of your wallet nor is it affecting you in any way possible so why is it such a bad thing 
It's their life. And before anyone says they're selling a false image, that's just stupid because they're still the same people. And honestly, if plastic surgery is that big of an issue to you, it just means you're insanely shallow and you don't look past someone's appearance. <sighs> Yikes. The last thing I'm going to touch upon is concepts. I've touched upon this before in other videos, but I'll say it again. I am so tired of girls getting put down for cute concepts. When men do cute concepts, you praise them for battling toxic masculinity, but when a girl does it, it's cringy. That isn't it. You are part of the problem. Toxic masculinity is an issue, but you can't cry justice for men who aren't conventionally manly, then attack a woman for doing something cute. It don't work like that. It's okay to dislike a song or its sound, and you don't have to like cute concepts at all, but belittling a woman because she wants to be cute? No. If you don't like it, then keep your move closed. Constructive criticism is different, and if you say why you don't like the song, for example saying, I don't like the melody, I don't like the sound, that's one thing, but being misogynistic is another. I often see people belittling cute concept because it's apparently belittling to women, but no, if a woman feels cute and happy, then that's just as empowering as being a badass and a queen. Don't cry feminism because it ain't feminism. Girls can feel just as empowered wearing cute stuff as much as a girl can feel empowered wearing badass stuff. So many cute K-pop songs actually have got amazing messages. Look at Kiss Later by Yojin of Luna. It talks about consent, going at your own pace comfortably, and it has to be one of the cutest MVs and songs out there. So, yeah. And that's all I'm going to talk about. Please let me know if I missed anything out. I probably have. And I'm just going to clarify this again. I ain't hating on any men. I ain't saying any men are bad. It's not a specific K-pop boy group's fault for being in a sexist industry and they can't help it. At the end of the day, before a K-pop stan, I am a woman. I may be some social justice warrior here, but I don't care because this stuff matters to me. I hate seeing women that I love and idolise getting mistreated. So yeah, I know there's not much I can do as one person, but I just think it's good to talk about this stuff and I just like ranting about this kind of stuff. So, you know, it just is what it is. That is all from me. Remember to subscribe, follow me and all the stuff you want to be updated. And I don't have much to say apart from stand tail and watch for my life and so all over the place again. Bye!